Welcome to In 5 Minutes. We take problem on overhang beam with point load, uniformly distributed load and a couple. A problem statement is draw axial force, shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam as shown in the figure. So this is a beam. Determine the maximum bending moment and the point of contraflexure. So in this problem, the load diagram is given. We see that it is a sort of simply supported beam with a hinge support at one end and a roller support on the other end. But we see that your beam is not ending at point C at which your roller support is acting, at which your roller support is acting and it is extended towards point D. So this much part of the beam is considered as overhang. Hence your beam is called as overhang beam. So nothing changes. We solve this problem in a similar fashion. So we first draw the support reactions at the two supports. At this roller support, we'll have a vertical support reaction denoted as VC. And at the hinged support at A, there will be a vertical support reaction given as VA. Also there will be a horizontal support reaction given as HA. So there will be a horizontal component of this force whose magnitude will be 60 cos 60, which will be towards the left hand side. So this horizontal force can be considered as the axial force which will be supported by the horizontal support reaction of the hinge support. Now we start solving the problem. Our first step is to find support reactions using static equilibrium equation. Now since there are three unknown reactions VA, VC and HA, we'll make use of three static equilibrium equation to determine it completely. So the three static equilibrium equations are summation of moment about any point is equal to zero and summation of all vertical forces that is summation of Fy is equal to zero. Also summation of all horizontal forces summation of Fx is equal to zero. First we consider summation of moment about a point equal to zero. So if I take point A as a reference point and I apply the static equilibrium equation I get summation of moment about point A is equal to zero. Now I calculate all the moments about point A. So sign convention is clockwise moment positive and anti-clockwise moment negative. So we have a clockwise moment formed due to this force of 30 kN meter which is acting at a distance of 2 meter. So we have 30 multiplied by 2. Then there is an anti-clockwise moment of 30 kN meter. So minus 30. Then there will be a clockwise moment caused by this UDL which is acting for a span of 4 plus 2 equal to 6 meters and the magnitude will be 15 multiplied by 6 equal to 90 kilonewton. So we have 15 multiplied by 6. This is the magnitude of the UDL multiplied by the distance. Since the UDL will be acting at the center of this UDL, its distance from point A will be this is 6 meters. So our UDL will be acting at the center which is which will be at a distance of 3 meter from point B. So 3 plus 2 is 5 meter. So we have 5 meters. Then there will be a anti-clockwise moment caused due to this vertical support reaction VC which is acting at a distance of 2 plus 4 6 meters. So we have minus 6 VC. Then there will be a vertical component of this inclined force whose magnitude will be 60 sine 60. Also its horizontal component will be 60 cos 60. So there will be a clockwise moment caused due to this vertical component of this inclined force 60 kN and it is acting at a distance of 2 plus 4 plus 2 8 meters. So we have plus 60 sine 60 multiplied by 8. So we see all the moments are taken into consideration. There won't be a moment formed due to this vertical support reaction VA since it is passing through point A. Also this force by principle of superposition this force also passes through point A so there will be a no moment caused by this force about point A. So we see all the moments are taken into consideration so this we can equate it to 0. So here we see that the only unknown is VC so upon solving this we have the value of VC as 120 kN. Since it is positive the direction will be upward. Now we use the second static equilibrium equation which is summation of Fy is equal to 0. Sign convention is all upward forces positive and all downward forces negative. 
So the upward forces are the two support directions V and VC. So we have VA plus VC. There's a downward force of 30 kN. So we have minus 30. Then there is a UDL whose magnitude is 15 multiplied by 6, which is downward. So again we have 15 multiplied by 6. Then we have this vertical component of this 60 kN force which is acting downward. So we have minus 60 sine 60. So we see all the vertical forces are taken into consideration. So we can equate it to zero. Now in this we have two unknowns V and VC, but we know the value of VC as 120 kN. If we substitute the value of VC as 120 kN over here, we get the value of VA as 30 kN. Now since it is positive, again its direction will be upward. So the assumed directions of these two supports is correct that is upward.